Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome to Friday, October 1st. This is another edition of Inspire Me. I'm Debbie and I own a store here in Midlothian, Virginia. We are um, Dances with Wool, a yarn shop that is specializing in quality yarns and accessories for knitters and crocheters. And we just offer a wide variety of commercial and uh, hand dyed yarns. And we are, you know, we pride ourselves on being a very supportive, inclusive, and friendly environment. So we welcome you to come in. We are open every day from Tuesday to Saturday from 11 to 5. We are also having, we also have an online presence, as many of you know now, and that's 24-7 at uh, danceswithwoolrva.com. So you can also shop there. And we also offer still, for those who are not in town, or for those who just don't want to venture out again while the cases are on the rise of COVID, we also offer virtual shopping and you can access that also through our um, online site. So we welcome you. Yay, we made it through Yarn Crawl. We saw many of you through Yarn Crawl and it's nice to get kind of back to normal, but I miss the hustle and bustle that was that nine days of Yarn Crawl. So today we're back to our regular Inspire Me segment. And today's uh, project is Perennial Garden Shawl by Tiff Nealon. I am also, I'm wearing it right now. And I'm also gonna show you the picture, um, the pictures that are on the website or on Ravelry of this shawl. It is so pretty. This is a new one. The one I'm wearing was knit by Pam Winnie, one of our teachers here at Dances. This was a test knit for uh, Tiff Nealon. The actual shawl is not available just yet. It will be coming live very soon on Ravelry. It was, uh, the yarn used in the shawl was Verb for Keeping Warm, and this was for their yarn club. So this shawl was um, actually, you know, put out for the yarn club at uh, a verb for keeping warm and is not yet available for general purchase, but it will be, it is promised to be it should be live any time now, it said October. So that is what, uh, I mean, it's just beautiful. And I'm going to give you all the details on it while we're here. So this is the other one. So, and I just showed you this one. Just beautiful. So it was inspired, um, it is a triangular shaped shawl. It uh, begins with just a handful of stitches, like you see many of the shawls are, with a double increase on one side. So one side stays straight and the double increases on the other side. Um, it is a lot of textures and patterns in this. Tiff Nealon was inspired by a perennial garden, and she says that, um, you know, it, which she loves, and she says that in a perennial garden, you've got wind and birds always picking up the seeds and dropping them. So you end up with this very textured uh, garden that has this bleeding of colors, and she took inspiration from that for the shawl. It has slip stitch designs, as well as two uh, color garter, um, just beautiful. So here is Pam's, let me show you that. So you've got the beginning and you're just increasing straight on one side, double increases on the other, fading into colors, different colors. So this is a three color shawl and um, it recommends, the original, uh, the pattern does recommend sport weight and we have Willow in store now that we are so excited about. It's from um, Little Fox Yarns. It is her sport weight. It is a, um, you know, organic merino and hemp blend. So you have, I mean, we just love it. It creates this very, when you put the dye on it, it creates this very heathered look. I can tell you with the hemp in here, this is, it's quite drapey. But what I also love about it is you've got that, you know, you it's just very, very light. So it's a great uh, shawl for now, for this time of year when your nights are a little bit cooler. Um, and it's very, very warm. I mean, I was, um, I was warm in it, just wearing it just now. But you can see how the colors are gonna bleed into one another. Just very beautiful. It's three colors, a main color, two contrast colors. Um, and with this willow, you have endless possibilities. You need, um, on the main color, you need one skein. On the uh, contrast colors, I think it's 145 yards of each. So, you know, you don't need much of it. 
But here, I just wanted to pick a, uh, some combinations for you that would be fun. Because you have all that color bleeding into each other, I mean, the possibilities are endless. I picked like, just picked things off the shelf. And what I love about this yarn is everything I picked up, I said, oh, I would really like to do that. So here's one that's working with her, um, here's her petal and her crushed violet. And this is a wonderful pop of color. And this is her lemon squeezy, uh, Amy's lemon squeezy. Now, I wanna show you this because this, you can see how in the shawl, you've got that lemon squeezy in there, but you've got all these other colors. So you can play with which one you want the main color to be so that you don't have to wear the lemon squeezy up, up to your face. It's not, it's not one, of, one of the colors I can wear close to my face. But I can certainly wear the blues and I can wear the grays. So you can arrange the colors in such a way so you can have that pop of color that you love, you know, because I've always loved this lemon squeezy color, but I will not, I will not use it like close to my face, but I want to use it in a pattern. So this is a way you can, you can use it as one of the contrast colors that you won't be wearing close to your face. Another combination, again, that lemon squeezy, just as that pop of color, just because I love it. And it would be so beautiful in combination. This one here is Raven's Wing. And, you can, and if you're familiar with Amy's colors, you know Raven's Wing it looks a lot different on her Vulpine and Vixen base. This one here is Bardo. You can see those two together. Just how subtle. There you go. And that's your pop of color. Now, let's say you like the yarn. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? This is kind of that bluish gray, that chasing blue skies. Oh, it's one of her colors I love. This is mandolin orange. And again, look how different that looks on the willow with the hemp. Again, very subtle. And then this one is your Galway girl, one of my favorites. So put those three together. Maybe you can't wear this one close to your face, but it's a great pop of color to have in the shawl because you're going to be using those contrast colors intertwined with the main color. Now, I will tell you, Pam, um, Pam Winnie has done wonderful notes on her Ravelry page because this was a test knit. So her notes are pretty extensive. I would look at her notes because she did modify the order of the yarns, meaning in one section she might not have put the contrast one with the main color. She might have put contrast one with contrast two. Um, but she tells you in there what she did. So I would look at her notes as well. She is on um, the project page on the Perennial Garden Shawl by Tiff Nealon. So I would look at her notes. But again, we are recommending this beautiful yarn by Amy that's brand new in our store called Willow for this project. Isn't that gorgeous? We're just loving it. So highly recommend the project. Be on the lookout. You can come get your three skeins of Willow if you want. Just be on the lookout for when the pattern is going to be released. It should be any day now because it was going to be released in October after the Yarn Club for a verb for keeping warm had a chance to buy the yarn. So the, um, oh, and I need to tell you with this, you'll see that the picture here does have the tassels. Um, her yardage or her pattern page does say her detail page will tell you that you do probably that is not accounting for the tassels the yardage that is um, on the page so make sure if you're going to want to do the tassels that you allow a little bit more yarn to do that all right so just want to tell you before I sign off here next week is our birthday week can you believe it we are five years old I, the time has gone by so quickly and you know, I look back at pictures and cannot believe how much we've changed in five years. And hopefully we're just growing bigger and better. And, uh, you know, we just, but we still want to be your, your small, intimate, um, very, like I said, supportive and inclusive and friendly yarn store. So we are excited to celebrate five years. It starts next week, our celebration. It starts Tuesday, goes through Saturday. Uh, Stay tuned, I will be sending out some uh, special email to you with all of the details, but I do wanna tell you on Tuesday, we just wanna have a, just a welcoming um, celebration that includes all of us, all of our customers and our staff. And it will be from five to seven 
on Tuesday. It's just a walk-in, you know, come when you can, stay all two hours, stay 30 minutes, stay 15 minutes. We just want to see, we're going to have some catering available by Maribel's, and we're going to have cake from It's a Piece of Cake. And so we're just going to have some just celebration, but drawings too. We're going to have four drawings for four $50 gift certificates. So, you know, what can be better? A chance to win, we get to see you. Also, please be sure to wear something that you've made with yarn from the shop anytime within the last five years. We just want it to be just kind of a celebration of where we've been and where we are now. So come in, we'd love to see you. That again is Tuesday from five to seven, just walk in and every, every single person is invited who wants to come. So that is uh, Tuesday. Also to celebrate our birthday week, those of you who visited the Flying Needles in Williamsburg um, and know Susan Dickerson, know that she and I opened a day apart five years ago. So we're doing a yarn swap of our yarns. We're so excited. We're getting Robin's Promise, which is her proprietary yarn from, um, from we, uh, that she does in shop called Robin's Promise. We're getting that trunk show and we're sending our Rich Hill yarns to her customers. So we're real excited about that. That starts next Friday. So our Inspire Me for next Friday will be about Robin's Promise yarns. We'll be showing you all of the wonderful things that she sent to us. So that's next week. Please stay tuned to our newsletter. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that. That is through our website. You can just subscribe and get all of the details of everything getting ready to come up. We have a lot of things planned for you this fall. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And we should be doing, I think we have a date for a podcast. We'll be announcing that soon. And you can follow us on YouTube as well. And you can star that for notifications. But thank you guys. Thank you and have a great, great, great weekend. We can't wait to see you. Bye.